Hello, I'm pleased today to be introducing the EX16S FXS Gateway from Zaiku. It is a 16 port gateway designed for plug and play integration with all Zaiku Coolbox version 2 systems. It is an ideal solution for organizations wishing to move to SIP based IPvBX systems without the expense of replacing existing phones, wiring, and without disrupting day-to-day -day business activities. Typical deployments include hotels, schools, hospitals, in fact anywhere with large numbers of analog phones. Using an EX16S, your analog phone will inherit almost all innovative VoIP features from the Kuvox version 2 system. Typically, between 1 and 31 EX16S gateways can be deployed simultaneously. This will, however, vary depending on which Kuvox model you have deployed. Kuvox system requires a minimum of 2.1.6 firmware, and this allows Kuvox to scan and auto-detect the EX16S gateway on the local LAN. Once located, EX16S can be quickly configured from within Coolvox's GUI. Importantly, to deploy EX16S, the unit should reside on the same local LAN as a Coolvox version 2 system to allow it to be auto-detected. Each Coolvox model differs in terms of support for EX16S. A Coolvox U20 supports a maximum of one EX16S for a total of 16 analog extensions. A Coolvox U50 can support a maximum of six EX16S for a total of 96 analog extensions. The U60 and U80 models support a maximum of 12 EX16S and between them can both support a maximum of 192 analog extensions each. Finally, the Coolbox U100 supports a maximum of 31 EX16S units, as well as a maximum of 496 analog extensions. Okay, next I'd like to uh, give you a quick demonstration and show you how easy it is to configure analog extensions on the EX16S. So I will log into my Kuvox U20 system. The first thing to note is that I am on 2.1.6 firmware, albeit I'm on the release candidate. So if we take a look at my extensions, you'll see that I've created two extensions for this demonstration. It's important that you do create your extensions first. Next, go to the advanced and right at the bottom is EXBOX provisioning. So we select that and you're presented with this screen. Now we will look to discover EX16S devices on our local area network. And here we have discovered one unconfigured gateway on this IP address. So now we'll edit. And you can see from this screen that there is 16 ports that we can configure. I've actually attached two analog devices to ports one and two, so I'll select these. Go to fill extension and select the start extension, which is 711. Okay, and as you can see, fully populated 11 and 12. Let's save that. Now all we need to do is activate the configuration, and that is it. The EX16S and the two analog devices are now fully operational. EX16S does come with its own GUI, although this is not required for configuring the analog extensions. All of that is done directly through the Kuvox GUI. 
What it does offer though is the ability to find additional information on the device such as which Kuvox system it's matched to and also if you require to change the IP address from its default setting you would do that directly through the GUI of the EX16S gateway. So that concludes the demonstration. Uh, some important things to note. The gateway is fully integrated with Coolbox version 2 IP PBX systems. So the analog phones that are attached will inherit most extension and system features. Coolvox can auto detect EX16S and you configure extensions from within the advanced section of the Coolvox GUI and this requires 2.1.6 firmware or higher. The EX16S does have its own web GUI as I demonstrated and this is primarily used for setting things such as the IP address of the device. The X16S does inherit certain settings from Coolbox system and these include tone zone, time zone, feature codes and system voice prompts. And finally, EX16S utilizes existing extensions on a Coolbox system. So please ensure that you create these extensions prior to configuring the EX16S gateway. That concludes today's video presentation. And all that's left to say is thank you for watching today. And if you do require any further information on the EX16S, then please do contact your local Zyku distributor or the Zyku sales team. Goodbye.